uh, early in, in January. Uh, this is a better week. There are lots of things that I, I could have read. I always think in January uh, it would be really nice to uh, celebrate Martin Luther King Day. I know January's kind of packed with things and good to that, so I'm not going to read Martin Luther King. Um, we can celebrate the week of unity of prayer for Christian unity. I'm not going to do that either. So I'm going to do the 47 verses of Robbie Burns' Atomic Chapter. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that either. Um, having had a, a brief uh, uh, surprise holiday in Belfast uh, City Hospital uh, this month, uh, it gives you kind of the opportunity to think about things and particularly about what's important in life. And I, I found this little story and I thought that says better than I can say about what's important in life. And it's by Rabbi uh, Harold Krishner, who died about nine months ago, American Rabbi. I was sitting on a beach one summer day watching two children boy and a girl playing in the sand. They were hard at work building an elaborate sand castle by the water's edge with gates, towers and moats and internal passages. Just when they nearly finished their project, a big wave came along and knocked it down, reducing it to a heap of wet sand I expected the children to burst into tears, devastated by what had happened to all their hard work. But they surprised me. Instead, they ran up the shore away from the water, laughing and holding hands, and sat down to build another castle. I realized that they had taught me an important lesson all the things in our lives, all the complicated structures we spend so much time and energy creating are built on sand. Only our relationships to other people endure. Sooner or later, the wave will come along and knock down what we have worked so hard to build up. When that happens, only the person who has somebody's hand to hold will be able to laugh. Thank you.